name's Gary, and today we're going to do an unboxing of a um, new, yes, I did say that, new mobile phone. Cheesy, I know. But let's get into it and see what is in this rather large box. So as you can see, we've got this rather large box from a company called New Mobile. Um, so let's open it up and see what we've got. So first things first, inside we uh, seem to have a case, uh, which we'll look at further in a moment. A rather nifty uh, bottle. Um, these are always handy to have. Um, and lastly, we have the phone itself. So let's just get this larger box out of the way. There we go. So that's the phone itself um, in this kind of blue color. Uh, you'll see G3 with new mobile written on the bottom that way. And on the back, we can see the specs. Um, now, new is a um, company um, that are made in China. Um, and uh, this has been imported via Pyramid Limited. Okay, so you can see there we've got a MediaTek chipset, um, and we've got some fairly reasonable specs. So we're looking at a 5.7 HD IPS display, 2.39 gigahertz octa-core CPU, 13 meg uh, plus 5 meg rear camera, front mag front camera of uh, 13 meg, dual SIM, 4 gig of RAM, 64 gig of ROM. And a 3000 milliamp hour battery. Uh, so, not too shabby, really. So, let's try and get into the box. Sorry, it's uh, one of those ridiculously tight boxes. Um, so, we'll just try and work our way in. So, I came across new for the first time uh, when I was at MWC earlier on this year and um, had a little bit of a look around the stand. And um, they then approached me and asked me if I wanted to review one of their phones. So I thought, why not? Um, this phone is coming in at around about 199 to 250 pounds. As I said, you will need to buy it online. You will not see these phones in the high street. So that's the phone first and foremost. We'll move that off to the side and see what else we get in the box. Um, you can see straight away the packaging. It's not quite what we would expect of uh, things like a Galaxy Note or an S7 or an iPhone, but it does the job. Little instruction manual there underneath. Um, as is always the case, with, I find with Chinese manufacturers, they do give you a little TPU case. Um, not the greatest quality, but it's nice that it's there. It means you don't have to worry about getting a case on it from the get-go. Three pin plug, always good to see. And the power brick, uh, which has also got a international adapter on it. Now this power brick has got, when it focuses, um, an output of five volts and 2000 milliamps. So it should be capable of delivering a reasonably quick charge. What else we got in the box? Um, type C to three and a half mil audio jack. So you'll probably be able to tell from that that there is not a three and a half mil audio jack on the phone. A um, little bit of a shame, but not the end of the world as I've largely moved to Bluetooth headphones now as well. In here we have our SIM eject tool. Um, Fairly bog standard. And then, last but not least, we will have our USB Type A to Type C cable. And there we are. The aforementioned cables. Um, so, there's no fast charging to speak that's uh, mentioned in the specs. However, I'm not actually sure what the MediaTek fast charging protocol is called. So um, I'm pretty sure it is here, albeit in some uh, guise or another. Um, this tends to be the case uh, with MediaTek. Uh, they do include a faster charging. It may not be fast charging as we know it from the Qualcomm uh, fast charge technology or the Samsung fast charge technology, but it is still faster than 
like your traditional slow charger. Uh, so we'll just pop all this back over in the box, get it out of the way. There we go, done. Let's get into the phone. So we have the uh, blue one here. I'm not sure if they give it another term. Yep, they call it Sapphire. And there we go. So as you can see on the back here, we've got our our dual IMEIs and our serial number. Um, and some of the bandings that are available. So GSM supports B2, 3, 5, 8, WCDMA, B1 and 8, and FDD, LTE, 1, 3, 7, 8, 2 and 0. Um, I've not tried this with a SIM card in it yet. I will be testing it exclusively with O2 in the UK. So we'll see how it gets on. Uh, we do have a dual SIM tray arrangement. Um, so you've got the option of having either two SIMs or a micro SD card and a SIM. Very much uh, like what we're seeing on the hybrid S9 and also the hybrid Note 8 and Note 9. On the side, power button, volume down, volume up. Um, Quite nice uh, textured power button there. Not sure if you can make that out. On the back, fingerprint reader and your dual array camera and a dual LED flash. On the top, we have a uh, hole for our SIM tray. On the bottom, um, your USB Type-C and what looks to be dual speakers, but upon closer inspection, you can actually, uh, again, you may not be able to see this on camera, you can see that this speaker is actually closed off and all it is is one pinhole mic uh, for your secondary mic. Primary mic, I'm guessing, is going to be somewhere around the top of the phone. I can't see it, obviously, but uh, it will be there. Um, on the top of the phone... We have got our earpiece, sadly it is just an earpiece, it is not a speaker. And then we have a front facing LED flash, our front facing camera and some uh, sensors just buried up in the corner there, barely see them. Um, a 18 to 9 aspect ratio screen, uh, measuring in at 5.7 uh, inches. And it's an IPS display, and um, having been using AMOLED screens uh, now consistently for ooh, uh, about the last year and a half in the form of the Galaxy S9 and also the Huawei Mate, 10, Mate 20 Pro that I'm recording this video on, um, you, you can notice the difference. Um, on the bottom, we have no buttons there, and this has got on-screen buttons from what I've seen in Android. So we'll just get this bit up. I'm just going to pause the video while I do that because uh, there's not much to see here. Nice little animation though. So we'll just wait for that to finish and then we'll pause the video. Okay, so we're back and I've now got the phone fully boosted up. As you can see, the display is very, very vibrant. Uh, there is a bit of glare coming off that. One thing I would say about the display, again, if I compare this to my S9, um, one of my pet peeves about uh, displays um, out of the box is the icon size. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to reduce that icon size. Um, so let's just do that. Um, and uh, you'll also notice there that we are running Android. Oh, uh, when I can get there, you go. Android 7.1 1 out of the box. Um, so I'm just going to, as I said, sort that display out and then we will crack on. So turn the Text size all the way down, and screen size all the way down. There we go, much better. Okay, so you can now see that the icons have rescaled themselves. Let's just change that background to something a little bit more conducive for the camera. There we go. Home screen and lock screen. Happy days. So you can now see the icon size is a little bit better. We do have an app drawer um, and it 
uses um, a Pixel-esque style launcher. Um, very, very clean uh, install. There's not much bloat on here. The only thing I can really see that is extra stuff would be file manager, uh, ETWS sound recorder, and their own default camera app. Um, and there is an FM radio as well. Uh, so this ETWS thing is, as far as I can tell, it's an early warning system, uh, which is lovely, but uh, not very exciting. Uh, let's quickly have a look at the camera. So camera, as I said, you do have that dual megapixel camera, and you've got various different modes down the side here. So you've got a portrait mode, beauty mode, panorama mode, mono, and of course your pro mode. Um, let's just go back to the default one photo and we'll have a wee look, focus in on that. And let's try a little bit of a bokeh shot here. Sorry, I'm just off camera while I take this shot. So I'm going to focus on that. So there's our two shots there, so you can see that one's kind of an attempt at a bokeh shot, and then that's the other one there. So the camera looks fairly reasonable. Um, I have actually played around with the camera a little bit before I did this unboxing. Um, I was recently on a trip to Ireland, and I took the phone over there with me. Uh, so uh, yeah, I've just had a warning saying the battery on my phone's about to run out, so uh, we'll conclude this video here. Please like, follow and subscribe for more videos from CoolSmartphone.com and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.